The Duke of Edinburgh retained a passion for carriage driving to the end of his days, having helped popularise the sport in the UK. He took up the sport, after he decided to quit playing polo at the age of 50, due to a dodgy arthritic wrist. The Duke introduced the event to the Royal Windsor Horse Show in 1971, before writing a handbook in 1981 called Competition Carriage Driving. The guide offered explanations on carriage construction and harnesses, as well as advice on preparation of the three phases of driving events. Prince Philip excelled at the sport and went on to represent his country at international events. As part of the British team, he would go on to win the 1980 World Carriage Driving Championships. Despite the infirmities of old age, Prince Philip never lost his enthusiasm for the sport. Writing in his book 30 Years On and Off the Box Seat, he gave a vivid account of the pleasure he derived from carriage riding. I am getting old, he said. My reactions are getting slower and my memory is unreliable. But, I have not lost the sheer pleasure of driving a team through the British countryside. In recent years, he could still be seen driving his carriage on the grounds of Windsor Castle and Sandringham. Prince Philip's carriage featured at his funeral in April, in a touching nod to his passion for the sport. His cap, whip and brown driving gloves were laid out on the seat of the carriage. The carriage stood in the quadrangle as the funeral procession passed by and was pulled by his two trusty black fell ponies, Balmoral Nevis and Notlaw Storm. The polished dark green aluminium and steel four-wheeled carriage was built to the Duke's exact specifications eight years ago. The Duke of Edinburgh left his most recent carriage to granddaughter Lady Louise in his will. Lady Louise often takes part in various competitions, including the Royal Windsor Horse Show, after being inspired by Philip in her youth. 